So I think I can speak for most producers, including myself and people that make their own music when I say that we're always in search of the perfect delay or echo, which Side note, I don't really know why in the music industry we call delay echo, or echo a delay, actually, I'm sorry. I don't know why we just don't call it echo. If anybody has the answer to why we call it delay in the music industry, let me know in the comments, because I've heard a couple different theories and a couple different reasons, but none of them really make sense. So I could also just Google it, but you know, I like your opinions in the comment section, so <laughs> let's go. So I'm always in the search of the next best delay. I have one, definitely one, maybe two go-to delays that I use. I'm a really, really big fan of the Native Instruments XT delay. However, I've been starting to like mess around with some other delays, and actually you can see in this song that we're about to show you, I actually use the Baby Audio Comeback delay. So I wanna show you what this sounds like with the, the final version. I've like, this song is already released. It's my song called Gone. What we're hearing right now is the, the final version that's on Spotify. But I like using these final versions of these songs to test out new sounds because it gives me the opportunity like hear what I know and I'm used to and compare it to something new. So that being said, I'm really looking forward to checking out the H delay by, by Waves today. I've heard a lot about this delay. There's a lot of different reviews and, and I've just been really looking forward to getting my hands on it. So now that I have it, I just wanna test it out. So let's see, this is the final version that I've already released. This is with the baby come back. <laughs> So that's with the delay, it's something called the ping pong delay, so it's panning back and forth. This is without the delay, we'll turn this off. Delay adds so much. So we just have, I think, a, a straight uh, chord note delay, analog setting, a bit of ducker, so it pull, the ducker pulls out the delay when audio comes in. You can choose how much you want to duck it out. It lowers the volume essentially. But let's tear this off and let's go to the H delay. This is a classic Waves plugin that I'm, I'm really looking forward to testing out. I've never used this before. Oh, so we have a ping. So like I'm just looking, opening this up for the first time actually. So that's cool. We have ping pong options, modulation, lo-fi, tap tempo is a really cool feature. That's actually really cool. So you can get it to the way you want to sound. Uh, filters, analog, I guess we have analog settings. This is cool. All right, so before we play, I'm noticing that we ha that it starts off at 100% wet. So you that means you're only gonna hear the echo, which is good if you were to put it on like a bus channel. That's what you want from the bus channel, but I don't have this on a bus channel. I have this on the actual main channel. So I'm actually gonna pull this back up to maybe like 35% with dry and wet. So mainly dry and a little bit of wet. So uh, let's move this. I had a chord note delay, so we're gonna move this to a chord note delay. And let's just see what it sounds like. Essentially kind of comparing. Actually, I'm gonna put on ping pong as well because that's what we had with the baby come back. So, Essentially, pretty much what the baby come back looked like, and let's see what we got. I like this. This is a nice tone. Oh, let's see what lo-fi sounds like. Oh, nice. You hear that the degradation in the audio? It's a little bit crunchy, a little bit, but it has that warmth to it. I like that. That's with the analog settings. Never coming home, so am I wrong? To keep your number in my phone. When every time it rings, I hate the feeling that it brings. So that's cool. You could tr mess with the different. Let's, let's see this. Never coming home. Wow, cool. So am I wrong? Different settings we got going on here. All right, let's mess with the, the passes. So now we have this low pass, high pass filter where it's kind of just squishing the sound right into here as opposed to the full oh, the sound spectrum. Let's mess with, the, mess with the tap tempo. I know we have it set to 94, which is the tempo of the song. So let's see what we got. Let's just mess with it. Never coming home, so am I wrong? Huh. Oh, okay, so depending on how fast you tap it, it actually changes, not necessarily like the tempo, but the type of delay that we're using. That's actually really cool. So typical tap tempo would actually change the, the tempo of the, uh, like the BPM of the delay. But here, it's actually changing the value of the delay, meaning is it gonna be a chord note? Is it a dot eighth? So you can actually tap in the rhythm that you want. That's actually really cool. Let's turn actually off so we can see if we want. Go, 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 da, 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 da. Let's try it. Never coming home, so am I wrong? 
It's also cool that it changes the pitch. As you're changing the tempo, it changes the pitch, which so it changes real time. That's a cool manipulation effect. So if you could actually like automate that and you could burn that into your track. This is a cool plugin, man. Never coming home. So am I wrong? To keep your number in my phone. When every time it rings, I hate the feeling that it brings. So one thing that I do wish that it had is I wish it had a ducker so you could hear that the delay is the same volume throughout the whole track. A ducker, what that would do when my voice comes back into sync, it would actually lower the echo that's been echoing. And then it, as soon as my voice stops, it raises the echo. You can actually do that through compression and you can like essentially side chain it. So you could actually put this on a, on a separate channel. Um, we could like put this on a bus, this delay and put a compression on under it. And then from there you could actually sidechain it so that it actually pulls out the audio when you're you're singing that you could get get a workaround like that so this is really cool i like this plugin i'm going to mess with it more i could see myself using it a, a lot on things that i wouldn't need ducking because i don't want to go through the extra step of um with the compressor it depends though actually like i really like this lo-fi so if i if i wanted to use it on a track where i had the lo-fi sound it has a really nice tone to be honest so i could just easily put the compressor on so that's a nice workaround I do like this a lot. Let's just do one more setting. Let's do it on a guitar and see what it sounds like. So this is straight acoustic. With a dial delay eighth. Fills it up a lot. I like that actually. Oh, and we had it again at 100 percent. So I so we didn't, weren't even hearing the initial dryness. This is a nice tone, man. See, that was actually a really cool sound. I had it 100 percent, and the lo-fi turn on totally changed the tone. I like that. I like that a lot. Now let's put on an electric guitar. See what we got. I like this a lot. Splitting it stereo now. This is a really nice tone for a delay, man. I like this a lot. So there you have it. First look at the the H delay from Waves. I think this is a cool sound. I, I like the tap tempo feature a lot. I like the lo-fi. The lo-fi is really nice. I personally use lo-fi delays a lot. They don't necessarily call them lo-fi. They more sort of tape delays, tape emulation. But this has a really nice tape emulation lo-fi sound. So I could see myself using that a lot. Especially like I said, with the, the wet turned up pretty high, it changes the tone a lot. It's a cool uh, plugin. So. Let me know in the comments below what you think. I'd love to see uh, your opinions and if you have it. If you don't have it and you're interested in getting it, there's a link down below which you can get it. So check it out. Click that link and check out the, all the other Waves products. My name is Jacob Restituto. I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. God bless and peace out.